Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones coming back with another review, man. Shouts out to everybody coming back to the channel. Shouts out if you're new to the channel. Y'all know I appreciate y'all checking in, watching your boy Sniper Jones Jones. Before the video gets started, man, I want to remind everybody who didn't watch my last video. The merch is dropping December 21st. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, so it's dropping December 21st, man. We wanted to put it out as soon as possible. It did take a little while to make sure everything was done properly with the embroidery, make sure we had all the pieces we need. Sizes will be limited, guys. I will drop the link down below in the description to the website, Way Before the Fame. Check out some of the stuff they have as well. Huge shout out to the squad over there, Way Before the Fame, for helping me come together and make this merch for you guys, and I'm super, super excited about it. I appreciate you guys helping me building this channel, man, to the fact where, you know, I can actually do stuff like drop merch and be more interactive with my subs, and it means a lot to me personally. But y'all know what's going on, man. Your boy, Sniper Joan Joan. Y'all see no hesitation, no waste of time. Y'all see the semi-frozen yellow Yeezys behind me and we're gonna get into a full review and on foot but before that if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button right about now we need those man we still trying to build into the new year because 2019 I have a lot of stuff planned for 2019 man I honestly think it might be the best year so far I'm striving I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I'm trying to grind for in 2019 but you're gonna find out also man if you already not following me on Instagram you need to go ahead and do that because not only do I post some of the dopest Picks are on foot. I do story giveaways that you don't want to miss out on, man. So follow me on the gram and make sure you're checking out those stories to see if you can get a chance to win a giveaway. Now, back to the Yeezy sneaker we're here for. We came for this semi frozen yellow V2, man. This is, in my opinion, hands down, one of the best Yeezy V2s to ever drop. Now, I don't think this video is going to be too long because it's not really too much to talk about, but I did want to kind of get into a little a little bit of specifics that I didn't get into on my pickup vlog. If you haven't watched that, check that out as well. But I am thinking this might be like the last V2 that dropped. I have not seen any more pictures of any V2s. I have not heard any more talks about more V2s. This is, I think, the last one. If I'm not mistaken, somebody let me know down below in the comment section, but I think this is the last one. I know they're moving into the, the newer model that kind of looks like this, but it got like the 3M aspect. I've seen some early photos, and I also even seen a pair in hand and on foot in SneakerCon Houston, and I actually liked it a lot. Me and Jumperman Chris was talking about it back in Houston. But as far as the actual, you know, V2 models, this might be the last one. So hopefully you guys scored on this. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I struck out on the app on these, bro. My Adidas app struck out. Finish line app struck out. Foot Locker, Champ Sports. I struck out every way possible for this sneaker. And I think Kanye really made these a lot more limited than he usually do, cause I think we all got spoiled. We was getting Yeezys too easily, bro. Sesame's was sitting, Zebras was sitting, the Butters was easy, the Triple Whites was easy, like, we was a little bit way, way, way too spoiled with the V2. So when they came out, I was just like, y'all, man, I'm like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? I got them in the bag, boy. You know, I'm taking these back to the crib, you know what I mean? I got that fat L because I didn't hit for any of them on any of my apps. I had 10 minute head start time on all of them except for champs. But hey, look, luckily, like I said, shout out to my guy Retro Rico. I will link his IG down below in the description, man. He helped me out with this pair. And hey, that's my dog, man, you know what I'm saying? That's what friends are there for, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I like about this nigga that kind of separates itself from every other Yeezy V2 is the vault yellow colorway that's going inside the entire shoe. I mean, that's the immediate eye snatcher. Like this tennis ball looking, semi-frozen yellow looking colorway, bro. It's attention grabbing, it's eye snatching, and that's why I like it. I remember when these first came out, bro, or actually before they first came out, Sneaker Con Atlanta, like last year, I seen somebody with them on, and I'm like, God, Lee, bro, I couldn't help but to keep, you know what I'm saying? I'm, they was fire, bro, and, and the way he was rocking them was, was hard. So, I, I mean, from that moment on, I'm like, yo, I got to get me a pair of these. And it took me forever, but I was happy when they re-released, as y'all can see, because I needed these for my collection. One thing I did say in the last video that I'm going to repeat here is early photos of this shoe did not have the gum sole. It just had the whole entire sole was the same semi-frozen yellow. They changed this up like a month maybe or maybe even lesser than that. Uh, they changed it back or they changed it to the gum bottom sole, which it ain't that bad now. At first I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Why y'all have to do that? But eventually I came around to it and it don't look that bad. I honestly do give it a different look and then that back heel tab right there, just, just give it a different look to me. But just getting into the base of this Yeezy, man, like I said, of course you got your gum sole bottom, which in my opinion, like I said, gives it a pop. At first I didn't like it, but eventually 
I came around to it. And of course on the midsole, you got this rubber rigid design going across the entire midsole in that vault yellow instead of on the back where you get that little hint of that gum bottom sole. On the uppers, you get that same pattern you'll see on the zebras. You see that same pattern you'll see on the blue tents, man. And this is super dope to me. I remember earlier when People was copying Yeezys in the earlier day and it was a lot of fakes going around. It was a way you can look at the pattern on the waves of the V2 to see if that pair is fake or not. I don't think you can do it on this particular sneaker because it's just too much colors jumping out at once, but I know on the Zebras, for sure, you can honestly see from the pattern of the Zebra if your pair was real or not. Another thing that makes the shoes kind of dope is the secondary color on this sneaker is not a black or it's not a gray. It's like a wash blue. I don't really know how to explain it. It looked like a, a lighter denim blue you know what i'm saying it kind of just throws it off if you ever pay attention to any of yeezy's colorways he never has like a regular color he never goes red it's like a solar he don't go blue it's like blue tint he never goes green it's like a dark army green the colors that he chooses is just weird so this is another weird colorway that doesn't surprise me of course you got that famous supply 350 going on the side of the sneaker and of course on the back pull tab of the sneaker you get the dotted lines the infamous dotted lines these also were easy ways to spot fakes when the Yeezys first came out, but the people who was making them fakes kind of caught on to it and they upped the game up just a little bit, so it wasn't that easy after that. Let me know down below in the comment section if you were able to secure your pair of Yeezys, and actually, matter of fact, if you comment down below, semi-frozen, I will shout you out in my next video. Y'all know how we rocking, man. Comment down below, semi-frozen. But all right, man, I'm about to go throw these on feet, show y'all how they looking. I'll be back in a second. I'll catch up with y'all. Yeah. Okay, two, talk out of my wrist. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video, man. If you're new to the channel, once again, hit the subscribe button. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me so you can see some of the dopest pics and also be a part of the giveaways I give on my story. I appreciate y'all as always, man. And until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Gang, gang.